Uh, good evening. Uh, I'm Mike Dawson, senior editor of Wine Enthusiast magazine. Uh, in 1995, Michael Binstein had to make the biggest decision of his life. At the time, he was an investigative political reporter working in Washington, D.C., and he'd published a best-selling book. But in August of that year, Michael's father, Harold Binstein, passed away. In 1952, Harold opened a small, over-the-counter liquor store on Clark and Sheffield, just blocks away from Wrigley Field. And by the time of his death in 95, Harold's burgeoning empire had grown to more than 10 stores. Now, Michael had to decide whether to continue in journalism or take over that empire. He didn't have much time for soul searching. Several competing liquor outfits in Chicago had designs on his father's legacy. At the time, Michael didn't know a Zinfandel from a Merlot, but he knew how to work hard, cut through the bull, and call it like he sees it. Plus, Michael was his father's son. Since 1995, under Michael's leadership, Benny's Beverage Depot has grown to 29 massive retail stores throughout Chicagoland and Illinois, with more than 7 million annual customers and 300 million in revenues, making it the largest independent liquor, wine, and beer retailer in the Midwest. Pretty good. Michael says the key to surviving and thriving in this age of big box stores and price clubs is quite simple. Hire retailers who are actually knowledgeable and passionate about the product, boast cheaper prices, and offer superior, more wide-reaching selections. Because, as their motto says, if you can't find it at Benny's, it's probably not worth drinking. Every holiday, every milestone, every tradition, and every celebration. For more than 60 years, Benny's Beverage Depot has been there, helping you celebrate the best times of your life. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce this year's Wine Star Retailer of the Year, Michael Binstein. So someone said, I, at one time, I didn't know the difference between the Zinfandel and Chardonnay. That's making a huge assumption that I do today, but we'll skip that. First, I want to single out two men who have had a profound, have made a very profound impact on my career and on my life through their personal example. One is being honored tonight. He's being called the man of the year. I think that has to be a misprint or a typo because to me he's the man of the generation. I'm referring to my dear friend Joe Gallo. And the other's name does not appear in any book, but he's been part of the unwritten history of this industry and has made a profound impact on my life, and that's Lynn Johnson. Since I got into the business almost 18 years ago, people ask me if I miss the reporting business, the newspaper business. And there's one thing I miss about it, but I need to say this in confidence. Can I trust everybody here to keep the confidence? I had a colleague who went to cover what should have been a very mundane PTA meeting. The PTA is the Parent Teacher Association. It's boring, it's a mundane story. He covered it. The next day in the newspaper, it meant to say the PTA, a community-based organization, but instead it appeared the PTA, a communist-based <laughs> organization. Now, what do you do on Tuesday morning when you've just slandered 18 million American mothers? <laughs> well, in the newspaper business, what you do 
on Wednesday morning, you publish a correction. There's a little box on page four, you can barely see it. It's called Corrections and Clarifications. No, 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 no problem, no foul, no penalty. But the people in this room who I salute tonight, we know that there is no correction box in the real world. There is no correction box in the business world. That every day people like Joe Gallo and Lynn Johnson for the generations, in the good times and the bad times, in times of war and times of peace, in times of prosperity and in times of recession, they have put it on the line. And when they make a mistake, they pay for it. There is no correction box. And I salute and honor the people in this room who have played by those rules and have taken those risks. You are the real heroes tonight. Thank you very much for the honor.